Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make the canopy for my bed. Just as an FYI, this is the second time that I'm doing this um, project. My first design was in my old apartment, um, but the concept is still the same. All right, so here I'm gonna need two PVC pipes um, that curve. And then I'm going to need um, two back support PVC pipes and then the back um, PVC. So two on the side, two on the back, and two in the front. And if I had a 2D model, it would be a D. So I'm just sketching this out so you can see like what we are creating here. For the front pieces, the ones that's going to be curving in the front, I use 75 inches. Um, I did change from PVC pipe to, um, I believe it was curved or uh, flexible tubing, um, but the 75 inches was the correct size. Um, if you choose to do the PVC pipe, it needs to be a little bit longer. I'll also keep in mind that I am doing a king size bed. Um, so my measurements are going to be a little bit um, larger than everyone else's. Um, if you have like a queen size or whatever. Um, so for the back pieces that's going to be on the wall, you need 60 inches. And I'm just drawing it out so you can know that that's going to be on the back. For the two sides here, I measured those out. And I'm going to need, um, what I write, 13 inches, okay? So 13 inches, but I do believe it ended up being 15 inches. So you might want to go back and you just have to figure out what works best for you. And then I had T-connectors connecting all of this together. And I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you get some glue. Some super glue I know that I use JB Weld to connect everything and to have it stay put together but I did end up using the JB Weld also I did not use the pipe hanger straps I did use some um, hangers from the Dollar Tree and I'll you'll see that in a, the later portion of the video and then also you will also see that I went ahead and um, added some extra parts to the frame. All right, so here we have footage um, of me measuring and cutting all of my PVC pipe to fit the dimensions that I have specified. I did purchase a pipe uh, cutter, PVC pipe cutter from Home Depot. It was only about $14. Um, because they don't cut the pipe for you. I, I did not know that. But anyway, so I was cutting everything. I think I bought about two or three PVC pipes and they were so long, um, I, I had, you know, PVC left over. So this is just me cutting everything to the sizes that I want them to be. All right, so after I cut out everything, and that's what you see right now, just cutting things out, you know, I just start putting things together. If you look in the back, I can you can see that I started putting the smaller parts together. And so now, we're just putting everything together. If you see those black marks, that's where I messed up with the dimensions and had to glue the um, some PVC together so we can get the correct dimensions. Um, yeah and now i'm just putting it together and making sure everything is nice and secure um in the end i did go back and glue everything that's how i figured we needed to glue things because it's not as secure so you want to make sure you um glue during this stage i glued at the end all right so now i'm taking the tubing i got this idea from my mom um because trying to heat and um curve the pvc the regular pvc was not going to work in my small apartment so my mom you know we came up with the idea to get the uh tubing the flexible tubing when i got to my new apartment i was you know it, i looked at it i'm not gonna lie for about two weeks and i just didn't know because the fabric was not staying it was it was kind of flimsy to me so i decided to secure it with um two additional sticks i had these sticks from 
I, you know, the PVC that I already had, so I didn't have to go to the store. And I secured it with glue and some packing tape or masking tape, whatever that is. And so that's what that is that you see. And then, as you can see, the four corners, like I said, are still, you know, secure. All right, so after I got to a point where I felt like the fabric would actually be secure on the frame, I started just, you know, trying to put it together, see how I wanted to do it. I already cut the fabric, um, you know, in purpose of making this video a little shorter. I just went ahead and cut the fabric. And this is me trying to just see how we're going to, you know, just, we're just eyeballing it at this point here. And excuse the background, I <laughs> just moved here. So I was trying to get my life together while still doing a video. So here I am using, so you can see, um, we have double-sided Velcro tape and hot glue, okay? I did both, um, and that's how I was able to secure it. I did put some, uh, what is this? This is that cling wrap around the frame because I just felt like it wasn't holding the shape or that when I put the fabric on, I was gonna, I felt like I needed another barrier because I needed to put um, other fabric on there too. It's gonna be front, front fabric and back fabric and you'll see what I'm talking about, but you, you're gonna need a different surface and you don't wanna have to glue it. If I did this again, I would probably just get something um, to go over the top of the frame. That's what I would do, but I was trying to keep the frame light to keep it from falling off of the wall or caving in like the cardboard caved in and I, I lost the footage but it, it, it wasn't it was good it was pretty it was very pretty but there were definitely some times when I thought that it wasn't gonna last so you know I wanted to make this a little more durable and light um, this second time around so but this is me just eyeballing it and I literally just put this um all around the frame and then you know high glued it together mm -hmm. all right so this is when i was done you know after everything was all done this is what we had here excuse the background i didn't like the curve but that was from where i had the extra sticks in but you know i like it i like it it's growing on me the neutral is growing on me uh this is me you know just trying to test it out now i recommend that you for support that you have more than just the two that you see me doing um after this i think i tried to add fabric to it and it failed I recommend you do three <laughs> and you make sure you put both screws in I did three and that's what I have now with all the screws in and it's fine um, I did choose lighter fabric and I'm also gonna show you what I did with the fabric um, because this is a rental apartment I'm you know a little I try to watch how many holes and different things I put into the wall but these are the Dollar Tree hooks that you can get and you wanna make sure you secure it. Right here in the clip, I am just putting it up just to see what it's gonna look like, just so you can have something to see. All right, so then I go ahead and I, like I put the fabric up here with push pins, okay? I'm gonna explain. I put the fabric up there and I tried to attach it to the frame itself and with only those two um, supports, it fell, okay? It fell. So your girl went in, you know, we gotta improvise. Now this is what it looked like on the inside. Don't judge, I got a high glue in it. But that's what we have, okay? It's not about the inside, it's about the outside, okay? Anyway, and I did raise that fabric up because it looked better when it was raised up. But this is me just showing you what we have. And these are the Dollar Tree frames. And this is the inside. I recommend three or four if you really can. Just, just for support. But that's what we have. And you'll see why I added the, I moved the fabric up. So you wouldn't have that gap right there. 
Um, so yeah, and I made I tried to make up my bed a little bit, but that's basically what it was gonna look like. We need to, you know, steam it up a little bit, but that's what we're giving the girls. All right, so for the other part of the fabric, I just added some tape or what is velcro and I just put it on and this is a no sew project I can't sew so I just literally just stuck it to the inside of it and that's what you have here okay very simple no sew push pins for the fabric just draping the fabric and that is the finished product i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found this helpful if you have any suggestions please let me know thank you so much for watching